Okay, right now I'm approaching the Red Hook Road Test area. Um, there's several ways to get over here. Um, I'm usually coming from Crown Heights, so I usually come through Park Slope. And right now I'm on Court Street approaching, uh, what is this, the BQE. I'm gonna go under the BQE. And as soon as I cross this road, I'm in Red Hook. I'm in the Red Hook Road Test area. Okay. Okay. So, um, over here is a lot of factories. Um, you'll see a lot more trucks. Um, it's There's some residential parts to Red Hook, uh, but it's like half residential, half commercial. Okay. Uh, one of the things you'll see over here is um, there's a lot of um, one-way roads that turn into two-way roads. Um, a lot of two-way roads that are very narrow, um, um, as you'll see here, as I get ready to turn onto this road here. All right, I'm going to make a right turn on Lorraine Street. And if you look here, you'll see that this road is a narrow two-way road all right you know it's a two-way because it has there's a yellow line in the middle of the road um, if you look here um, if you notice there is not enough space for a lane of traffic and these trucks to be parked on the right hand side here so if you notice the vehicle in front of me is on the yellow line and I'm on the yellow line it is better to drive on the yellow line than to try to drive to then to try to stay off the yellow line all right do not try to stay off the yellow line here because if you do the examiner will feel like you're too close to the parked cars and that you might hit the parked cars you do not want the examiner to think that <laughs> all right so stay off Stay away from the parked vehicles and stay on the yellow line if necessary, all right? Here now, as I go further, this road has regular vehicles. There aren't any big trucks and I, I, I'm I, still scraping the yellow line, but I'm not as much on the yellow line um, as I was on the previous street. Uh, but I still have to be on the yellow line just a little bit here. Not as much as the previous road, but just a little bit. All right. And it'll be better to do that than to fail for driving too close to the park vehicles. All right. Here, I have no problem. The road is a little bit wider. It's a lot wider. And I have no problem staying off of the yellow line. All right. I'm going to make a turn here on Hicks. This is a very narrow two-way street. As you enter the road, try not to hit that letter S. Actually, it's probably impossible not to hit that letter S. But don't go over to the T, <laughs> all right? This is a two-way road. As narrow as this is, this is a two-way road. Um, sometimes if there's a vehicle coming out of this road, it, you may have to wait for that vehicle to come out for you to have enough room to go in. All right. Also, when you're driving down this road, this road is so narrow that sometimes if a vehicle is approaching you, coming towards you from the other direction, sometimes it's better just to stop, let that vehicle pass, then proceed. All right, and don't feel as if you need to move to the right to let it pass because there's not that much room to move to the right. If you move too close to the right, again, examiner may feel like you're about to hit that vehicle. All right, so sometimes as long as you're on your half of the road, just come to a complete stop, let that other vehicle pass, then proceed. Um, don't feel as if you need to move over more to the right um, only do that if you are not on your side. You know, if you're a little bit past the middle of the road, then yes, then try to move a little bit more to the right. But if you're on your side, 
don't feel as if you need to move closer to the parked cars um, to give the other vehicle room. Just come to a complete stop where you are, let that vehicle pass you, and then proceed. All right. Okay, I'm at the beginning of the Red Hook road test site. Um, I'm on, uh, which street is this? This is Bay Street. Um, I'm on Bay Street. And I believe the next road is, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm next to a park. <laughs> all right, I'm in between two parks. All right, so I'm on, I'm on Bay Street. And I'm moving in between two two parks. Um, if you need to put in an address to find this location, put in the uh, the Red Hook uh, Recreation Center because I'm right down the block from the Red Hook Recreation Center. Anyway, as you pull out, um, you'll notice here that there's a bike lane, and a bike lane only has a solid white line on one side. Try to stay closer to the yellow line as you're driving down this road so that the examiner does not fail you for driving in the bike lane. Try to avoid the bike lane um, as much as possible, if possible. So if it's possible to stay out of the bike lane, then stay out of the bike lane. All right. Do not drive. Do not feel as if you have to drive on top of the yellow line to avoid a bike lane. If, if that's the case, then don't worry about it. All right. But if you can stay out of the bike lane and stay off the yellow line at the same time, then do that. If you can't do that, then don't worry about staying out of the bike lane. Okay, also, one of the tricky things about this area is a lot of people fail their road tests as soon as they pull out of the parking spot. And the reason is, it's very difficult to see traffic coming from behind you. Uh, this is what it looks like in the mirror. This is what it looks like when you turn around in your vehicle to look out your back window. If you notice, you can't see anything, especially if there's a car directly behind you. All right. Sometimes if you put your head out the window, you can see a little bit better. If you notice, um, um, you can't see very far when you look over your shoulder. Again, like I said in another video, it's better when you look at, you can see farther down the road when you look in your mirror but that does not give you the entire picture all right so what you need to do here is as you're pulling out continue checking over your shoulder checking your mirror checking over your shoulder as you're pulling out of the parking spot do not just look once do not look just twice look several times as you're coming out of that spot because the cars here come from very far away and they travel very fast. When cars do not have a light or a stop sign to stop them, they tend to pick up speed. And that car, if there's a vehicle coming down the road, even though it might be far away, it can reach you very, very quickly. Quicker than your ability to pull out of the parking spot. So it's very important here to check over your shoulders several times as you're pulling out. And, and not only should you check for a cars you should check for bikes okay as you're pulling out of the parking spot uh, if you want to check in front of you to make sure you have enough space to pull out you want to check your side mirror to make sure there aren't any vehicles uh, coming up behind you and you want to look over your shoulder all right so once you see that it's clear you can start coming out as you're coming out keep checking your mirror and checking over your shoulder um, and as you get about halfway out of the spot, what I like to do is stop here and then look over my shoulder. And in this situation, when I look over my shoulder, I can see better what's coming up the road behind me. All right. So come out about halfway, stop your car, look over your shoulder. All right. Then you proceed. And when you look over your shoulder, look as far down the block as you could possibly see. You notice, hopefully I'm catching this properly on the camera. This vehicle is approaching me. If you're in this position, just wait. So right now I'm halfway out of the spot. 
um, sticking out in the lane partially, but the cars can still go around me. Just let them. Okay, it's clear, I'm pulling out. Uh, bike lane on the right hand side of me, I'm close to the yellow line. Your typical first turn will be here, a left turn onto Henry. Waiting on the traffic coming towards me. It's usually a good idea to wait for any vehicle that's less than a block away from you. So if it's, if it's less than a block away, it's usually a good idea just to wait. This car is less than a block away, but I'm gonna take a chance and make the turn. Again, as you turn on this road here, the road is very narrow. Um, try to stay off of the S. If you cannot stay off of the S as you enter this two-way road, uh, definitely do not go on to the letter T, all right? Try to stay on your half of the road. Um, also, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a black line in the road here. Um, that is not by design. That is, uh, when they pave the road, they pave one half at a time. And then a lot of times, um, what, what it leaves is that faint black line in the road. You could use that as a guide to know how to stay, or how much to stay to your right. If you stay to the right of that black line in the road, that faint black line, then you're probably okay. All right, so you drive down this road, get to the stop sign, stop here right before the first white line. And again, it is very difficult to see traffic here have park cars on either side of you. All right, this intersection is shaped very funny. If you look, you just see a line of parked cars here. You just see a line of parked cars here and that makes it very difficult to see if any vehicles are coming up the road. On this side, there's a bus lane and a bus stop. So you can see pretty clear on the right but it's almost impossible to see what's coming on your left hand side. All right, so what you wanna do is you look as best as you can and you angle. You angle into the turn before you can see. So you angle and you keep looking to your left for traffic. If you see something, you stop. Okay, driving down this road, going to make a right turn here. to make a left turn on this street. I'm back on Bay Street. If you notice again, there's a bike lane on the right hand side. Try to stay to your left as much as you can um, without being on top of the yellow line. Uh, here, let's see what I want to do. If you notice here, as I go forward, if I go straight ahead, this two-way road turns into a one-way road. That is a one-way road up ahead of me. I'm making a left. So I'll make a 
left turn here. Um, they don't usually take you down this way, but if they do, um, you'll, you may be asked to do a broken U-turn somewhere here, or you may be asked to turn on this road here. This is the first road I came down on when I first entered um, the road test area. All right, this is, I believe this is Lorraine Street again. Uh, this is this is the road with the trucks on it and the very narrow two-way road with a yellow line in the middle. So again, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, you almost have no choice but to drive on top of the yellow line here. All right, so this is a typical route that they might take you on a road test. Again, this road right here, there aren't any park trucks, but there are park vehicles. So I have a little bit more room here, but I still have to be on the yellow line, or it's better to be on the yellow line a little bit here than to be too close to the park cars. All right, so now I'm driving down going to make a left turn here again narrow street try to stay off the S if you can't stay off the S try to stay off the T and those are the words on the ground that say stop 